and suddenly there were clouds. Yeah, those evil clouds came and started to be those evil clouds. Nice to see you again. This video uh, is not what it was supposed to be. I mean, my first video, second first video for this year. Because this is kind of opportunity video. We, we are now going, we are now at the Loppi, Loppi city. This is amazing place. Uh, we are going to this place. I will show you on the background. Don't remember the place name. And we're gonna go and shoot some northern lights. Yeah. Yesterday there was huge northern lights. There should be tonight also. But just a moment ago there was suddenly clouds. Oh my god, there were clouds. So let's hope that the situation in the sky gets better. Uh, it should at least they are just passing clouds, hopefully. Yeah, so this time it's not me just wandering uh, on the forest walking and trying to find something. This time we're gonna find some Aurora Borealis. Yes, so many. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, so welcome to the trip. And there will be probably some camping stuff, sausages and stuff, and fire on the ground. Very nice. Anyway, let's hope that all goes well and we will see some beautiful uh, Revon tulet, like we say in Finnish. Iha, thank you for joining. Let's go. Oh, situation is that we have northern lights. God damn. We just arrived and we could all already see them from the car. So let's fucking run and start shooting. Woohoo! First photos have been taken and it's looking good, goddamn good. No, I have photographed uh, Northern Lights only twice before this and there have never been anything like this. This is totally awesome. Awesome, awesome, amazing and what other words could I use to describe this? I even took a little time lapse of them dancing, so you better watch the pictures in the end because then you will see what we saw. Yeah. Now the mission is to move a little bit closer to the tree line, tree line there because basically my plan and vision with the images is that I want some kind of tree silhouettes on front of the northern lights because. Yeah, well. I just like it. It makes it more interesting than just have the basic Northern Light images. So, that kind of stuff coming up. I will need to continue shooting. Woohoo!
Trip has come to an end. Well, sausage was great, and the northern lights were great, but it ended up quite shortly, uh, quite fast because the clouds came. God damn those clouds! Yeah, they were evil, and we never got the northern lights back after that. So I hope that. I got some photos. Check it out after this small talk. Yeah. Subscribe, like, DDT, everything like that. Until next time, hopefully, hopefully, there will be another day for the Northern Lights in the future. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Now, let's go into the pictures and whatnot things. Bye bye.
And here we go. Amazing, amazing editing part of the Aurora Borealis pictures. Yeah, I use Lightroom. You should use two or use whatever the F you like. Uh, there was about 20 pictures. Not that much as the, like I said in the video, that it went away. The great northern lights disappeared. Uh, this is the first one I deemed worthy of these pictures. They are, they were quite bad in the end. Yeah. So what am I, am I doing here? I don't know. If, I don't even know myself because I'm just. I do it like I always do. I just do some minor tweaks with texture clarity and basic basic adjustments that you can come up with. <coughs> Here one thing is what I'm trying to do is to pop up the green as the green is the part and the space is the black. As you can see I cr crop everything. You should always do a good crop because nobody wants to see the snow in front of the trees. It just makes the, you focus in the totally wrong thing in the image. So it's it's not wise thing to to <clears throat> and everything is a bit blur here. Not good. Not good. Just adding the previous setting, you know that previous button there. Just it gives you all the previous thing. I always use the previous thing. I I will use that more in this video also. Is it good dark? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. And yet again, now the camera has moved. I need to move my crop back where it was. <clears throat> I don't know. Then I tried to do with some wide angle. I have this Samyang 14 millimeter lens. It's totally manual. This was a great idea when I was at the eyes, but in the end it's not <laughs> that kind of good picture that I will probably never use it anywhere. It's just stupid. It's just stupid picture. Then I took it with some different uh, exposure settings, so I was thinking that maybe I would make an HDR image of it, but in the end I, I threw that idea into the garbage bin. I was thinking that maybe where the trees go and the moon that it would work as a square image, you know, Instagram shit, things like that. Just test it out. Funny clouds moving in front of the moon. But till the end the trees are all boring trees. They are not worthy of anything. Of course, they are worthy of something, but they are not worthy of making this picture any any better than it is. And it is crap, total crap. Yeah. Let's move on, please, please. I have recorded this, and now I'm just talking over it. <laughs> so yeah. Stop doing that. That's stupid. It doesn't save your picture. Oh yeah, I was. I, I pressed it somehow wrong, now I turn it back to the normal, and then I said, what the fuck did I do, and then uh, deselect everything with Ctrl D, and then just make the previous thing, I don't know, some coastly images of the moon and clouds, probably will never be used in any scenario, uh, here is it again, with that, with the, with the wide angle lens, some stuff, taking out the eyes, that's not needed. 
making the uh, taking the lens profile because it has some some the twisting as it's it's too wide it will make everything look a bit strange yeah then once again going through some settings just just the basic basic stuff nothing out of the ordinary my tip is to be wild with the adjustments sometimes it works I wanted to tune down the sky or the space a little bit thinking about going more from the dark into the height but I don't know it's nothing <laughs> nothing special there also then my basic basics sharpening tricks and noise reduction that I do with the Lightroom usually then I had this this was actually this was nice in a in a certain way but it wasn't because it was uh, focused on the wrong part but here we go into the most uh, this is actually the most interesting picture can you already see what is the interesting thing in this picture this is the uh, small moment when the uh, the northern lights actually danced a little bit so we could see the movement but now I'm editing this and I I, I think I haven't noticed it yet <laughs> well this is the cool thing in this picture maybe you see it I don't know <clears throat> then I do some masking for the green areas I try to make them go a bit more some more vibrance to the colors and whatnot things so beautiful oh my god so beautiful Woo. yeah then this some color, color grading stuff just this testing out and seeing the result I don't know it's mostly just random I have no idea but now I know this what was cool in this picture <laughs> Woo -hoo! there is some kind of meteorite coming down at the same time that was cool I was quite happy to see that that is probably will be the only image that I will publish from this set at least to the Instagram world <coughs> then I'm testing something darker just taking the exposure down tweaking adjusting it's quite quite hard to get the trees well into the image because they are still closer and I have adjusted my focus to the far end of my lens so they are a little bit out of focus I should have more aperture but then again I don't want to take like 30 second pictures etc because the moments are moving here I did uh, the, my basic thing I just uh, synced the whole settings of the first picture to the, all the others and I did it again because that had a little bit different than the first three pictures then again something and do, 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 do. it was sad that the <coughs> the clouds came in because there would have been probably loads of good pictures because one of the pictures that I wanted to take is that the trees would be in front of the like silhouettes but well I'm happy with this because I this is my absolutely the best 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 aurora borealis I have seen ever I have never visited northern Finland in a such way that I would have seen these northern lights it's bad then there is my last picture, my beautiful selfie of my <laughs> gazing into the moon. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, with my forehead lamp. <laughs> oh, it was quite nothing special with that image. The cloud cover is quite high at the, at that point, and it's just if it would be starlight, then it would like stars and shit like that. Then it would be cool. 
but now it's just quite crappy yeah then remember to uh, <coughs> set rating because I always do this that after I have imported all my pictures I will uh, choose the five star pictures and destroy the ones that don't get any stars here I'm checking the big that one picture and it's quite good but the focus is totally strange in this one because it looks like that the stars are in focus and the trees a bit nearer are focus but then on the far end on the right bottom they're not in focus so I don't know maybe I left this or I didn't I'm not sure yeah I left one of those pictures yeah but that's that's basically how I did this did, did this did take 11 minutes or something like that so it's quite quite fast process to do there I did the I just to filtered all the unrated and selected them all and deleted and then filters off back here and uh, here we have our five star images oh but this was the winner picture because of that meteorite or what the hell is it maybe a UFO mm. Yeehaw. Thanks for watching. This was my first, like, talking on top of and showing my fucking pro editing skills. Yeehaw. <laughs> anyway, thank you. See you on the next one. And now, what's the pictures? Mm.